Hey everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome back to Little Art Talks. It's been a while, but happy Lunar New Year. And I wanted to share a story to celebrate. Now I've already done quite a few origin stories around Lunar New Year, including the Chinese horoscopes or zodiacs, and the reason why people celebrate Chinese New Year's with lots of sound and red envelopes. And today I wanted to share another one. Did you know that the Lunar New Year is actually more than just a day? It's not just Lunar New Year, it's a whole festival. So it's a 15 day-long celebration where people can celebrate, have a good time, spend time with their family, and it involves a bunch of different things including hanging some red lanterns. Now the end of the 15-day celebration, you gotta end it with a bang, so they call it Yun Siuji or Yan Xiao Jie. <laughs> My Mandarin is total rubbish. In English, you'll often see it translated as the Chinese Lantern Festival. Lunar New Year's usually starts around February, and then the 15th day will be mid-February, right around Valentine's Day. Those who are familiar with the lunar calendar may also notice that 15 days into a cycle is the full moon, the first full moon of the lunar new year. It's often celebrated by hanging bright red or colorful lanterns in the street, and couples will go to the festival and enjoy the full moon together, giving it a reputation of being a really romantic holiday, which is why you often see people calling this the Valentine's Day of China. But how did this tradition of hanging lanterns come about? I think there's a really fun story to go along with this practice. Of course, there's many different stories that can be all potentially valid, but I think this one is just a really fun one. So a long, long time ago, there was a heavenly crane that came down from heaven onto earth. And when the villagers saw it, they hunted and killed the crane. Now the Jade Emperor, who is sort of like the big god in the sky, was absolutely furious because this was one of his favorite cranes. And as a punishment, he decided to sentence that village to be set on fire on the 15th day of the Lunar New Year. The Jade Emperor's daughter really sympathized with the villagers and tried to help them out, warning them of her father's plans. The villagers were of course very concerned about what to do now that they have angered the Jade Emperor, but the Jade Emperor's daughter came up with a plan. She instructed every family to hang large red lanterns around the house, set up bonfires on the streets, and explode firecrackers to trick the army into thinking that the village was on fire. On the 15th day of the Lunar New Year, the heavenly troops descended upon this village as scheduled, but when they saw the village ablaze, they went back to the Jade Emperor and reported their findings. Now the Jade Emperor wasn't easily fooled, but seeing how much effort was put into this, the emperor decided to forgive them and not set the village on fire. From that day on, people celebrate the 15th lunar day every year by carrying lanterns on the streets, exploding firecrackers and fireworks, and these are all often read to symbolize good fortune. What did you guys think of the story? Now, of course, this is just a legend. There's many different explanations that exist out there for why people celebrate with lanterns and why they're so popular, but this is just one of them. If you have another story that you heard growing up, I would love to hear it down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new, and of course, I hope you all have a wonderful, prosperous, and healthy new year. I hope you guys have a great tiger year. <laughs> By the way, I know I've been gone for quite a while, I haven't uploaded very often, but one of my New Year's resolutions is to upload more on this channel, so let me know what you guys would want to see for the upcoming videos. I've been really busy doing a bunch of other stuff like starting a business and running it, and it's it takes up a lot of time, so I hope you guys are understanding, but thank you for still coming back when I do upload. If you want to check out what I've been up to, be sure to follow me at all of my other accounts. 
I have my personal account, which is at Karen Yuen at Instagram. I also have a personal YouTube channel where I upload vlogs. I have my business, of course, which is Arden Cove that has a YouTube channel as well as a website, ArdenCove.com. That's where I sell bags and purses and backpacks that I designed. They're all anti-theft, waterproof, and really great quality for every day going to school or going to work. So I hope you guys will check it out. I think that's everything that I do. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!